You guys, you could get sick from not, you hold an anger, you could get, die. Do you understand? Are these your kids? What are they, fucking adopted from another country or something? What the fuck? Your parents are laughing their asses off and you guys look like I just fucking killed a baby. What the fuck are you? Come on, come on. Tickle them, he's not even laughing. <laughs> Fucking tickling the people. So I just want to say that gay people are not all fucking cool. No one ever says, oh, gay people are great. Not all of them. Fuck you. I met some douchey gay people. <laughs> In a general sense, young white gay kids, like early teens or 20s or whatever, annoying little fuck. They didn't, they still think everyone hates them. Like everyone hates us. No, no one's even thinking about you. In order for us to hate you, we'd all have to be considering your existence. No one's doing that. Self-centered little bastards. I just want to be treated like everyone else. Well, everyone else isn't jumping around with leotards and screaming at passersby. Your behavior is inconsistent with your stated desire to fit in and be treated like everyone else. Put down the fucking pom-poms and you'll see. Everyone will just... Here's another thing to do for fun. It's like when you see a young kid, like, first of all, half these young kids, they dress really dirty and ripped clothes because it's like, look, I've been through stuff. You know, like, like, shave your face. You're fucking 17. Fuck off. Life is going to get really fucked up. Trust me, but not yet. And you're not going to be prepared for it pretending that you've already been through it. Wait for it to really happen, and then, you know, you'll, you'll, you can grow your beard and act all world-weary. Fucking <laughs> douchebags. <laughs> hey. Forgot what I was going to say before. I go off on tangents. Doesn't matter, though. You guys in college? You are? Did you ever do anything ever, ever? <laughs> Have you ever seen anything or heard of anybody seeing something of any kind of thing? In, in now listen, what school are you going to? I go to Roger Williams. Roger Williams? Is that expensive? Pops? <laughs> Pops expensive, yeah. Okay, cool. And like, do you think that you'll get a better job than I have ever? With all your... Probably not, right? Think about it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm telling, I'm telling, you know, I'm over here telling your little brother to suck my dick and shit. Just, and I get paid for it. Like, do you think you'll do better? Probably not, right? Yeah. I bought heroin from a guy named Roger once. What I'm saying is I dropped out of eighth grade and it worked out pretty good. But stay in school, all right? You know what you get when you get out of college? Are you gonna live in America when you're done with school? Yeah, guess what you're gonna get for your degree? A cubicle. It's a, it's a box made out of carpet. They call it a cubicle because that sounds a lot better than a fucking box made out of carpet. Don't it? And you're sitting in there with your dad's half a million dollar degree. Your father's home fucking shooting heroin. Just because he just can't take his fucking decisions. And you're sitting there and you're getting these little headaches, but they're brain tumors bubbling up. And your wrists are carpal tunnel syndrome. They have that where you're from, where you can't. It hurts bad. I heard. But here's the good news Friday, you can wear sneakers.
The point that I'm trying to make is don't do drugs because you'll end up like me. That's <laughs> okay? Her especially heroin. That feels like oral sex and a puppy licking your face at the same time. <laughs> so if you don't like those things, then definitely don't try it. Now, um, Eunice Shriver, does everybody know who she is? She just passed away. Beautiful woman, I mean, amazing, right? I mean, come on. Yeah, whether you have, some people are political, fuck her, she's a Kennedy. She started the Special Olympics, which is the most incredible fucking thing that you'll ever experience if anyone's ever been. Anyone ever been? You gotta check it out, just once. Especially the men, you'll just be like a little fucking baby crying all day, because it's the most beautiful thing. They run, the first Special Olympics, the guy that was winning the race, uh, no, I'm sorry, he was in second place and the guy in front of him fell. The guy who was winning, and he fell. And this guy went past him and then he, he could have won. He had like five feet and he picked the other guy up instead. And then they both lost. They both came in last. <laughs> right? No, but that's like completely like ridiculous to most people, especially if you're a fucking ambitious douchebag. <laughs> But if you're like a human being, you're like, wow, that's fucking beautiful. Like, that's what real life is all about. That attitude of living in the moment and being of service to another human being is amazing. I spend tens of thousands of dollars on narcotics <laughs> to experience that. This fucking guy missed a few chromosomes and he gets to live like that all his life. So, uh, yeah. So you can keep your fucking religion, I'm gonna stick to the Special Olympics, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, you know, it's amazing. And I, I know this guy in my house who's a special person, and I asked him, he's always happy. I said, why are you always happy? He said, oh, well, because today in particular, I, when it rains, I'm very happy. And then when I catch him on a sunny day, he goes, today in particular, it's sunny. Like, there could be a swarm of locusts, <laughs> you know, fucking, Whatever, and he will swarm a locust really makes me happy in particular. <laughs> so I asked him, you know, what is life all about, dude? You know, is it the Jews, the Christians? Who's right here? And he said, well, it's pretty much chocolate milk is the answer. <laughs> Imagine if that is the right answer, man. Imagine if we die and that's what it was all about, chocolate milk. <laughs> the having and enjoying chocolate milk. And God says, where's your chocolate milk? You can't come in. <laughs> and then all those people are behind the gates of heaven laughing at us saying, who's retarded now? <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys have been fun. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> Mike Dave Stefano, everybody.